What's up everyone? I just wanted to talk to you guys about water retention and how I got rid of water retention in a day. About, I wanna say six to seven pounds of water. I was about, I wanna say close to four days out from my bodybuilding competition. I'm a professional natural bodybuilder and I was at work. The issue was I was ravenous, I was hungry, so I was snacking on pickles throughout the day. And I kind of just lost sight of how much sodium I was having. By the end of the day, I had close to about 5,000 milligrams of sodium, which is a shit ton of sodium. I think the general recommended amount is about like 2000 so I had like a shit ton of sodium guys like at least 5000 maybe close to 6000 milligrams of, of sodium so what ended up happening was I ended up holding about seven pounds of water the next day and I was three days out from my bodybuilding competition I'll play that out for you guys later on in this video, but to keep things short, to go straight to the point on what I did to get what, rid of water retention, I just did cardio. I just did my regular fasted cardio, worked up a sweat, tried not to look at myself and stress out about it. I just went into the gym and I went and did my cardio I want to say it was about an hour of cardio, walking, power walking on incline. So incline at 15 and at a speed of three miles per hour. And yeah, I noticed a significant difference just working up a sweat and finishing that cardio session. That definitely made an impact. I mean, like, especially when you're three days out from competition, that shit is high stress, guys. Like, literally, I was so pissed off. I was trying not to think about it. But you, like, I've been working so hard for this bodybuilding show, right? And I just went and screwed myself up by eating an entire jar of pickles. And I was shredded, but I looked pregnant guys like I wish I recorded a video for you guys I really did but it I was so stressed out I didn't even want to look at myself um, my feet had edema my hands had edema like they everything my face looked puffy and my gut was distended I was stressed out I was like I worked so hard just to screw it all up right now right and so I just said, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to have faith in, in my knowledge and skills, right? Like, come on, Casey, you've been through this before, right? So normally what people say to do, right, is to drink dandelion root or something along the lines, right? Hit the sauna. I believe sauna helps also. Um, what else? People like to do cardio, drink coffee, drink a lot of water, cut carbs, because carbs also has a lot of water in it as well. And that could exacerbate the situation. But in all reality, I was like, all right, I need to lose the water weight now. And the best way I know to do that is to do cardio and before you know it it was gone by the end of the day it was gone i got rid of everything so how i played it out right was i woke up ashamed of myself i did my hour of cardio of course after my weight training a miserable sad weight training right depressing weight training because i hated how i looked and then I did my cardio 
and looked significantly better. But I didn't stop there, right? I also did those other factors of, of also drinking a lot of water after the fact, right? Like when I first woke up, they say you should drink a lot of water to counteract the sodium. But when you're distended like that, you do not want to drink a lot of water when you're like already like bulging out like that, right? So after I felt somewhat good about my physique, then I started drinking a, a, a shit ton of water. I probably had a, like close to two gallons of water that day. Usually I have like a gallon, usually about a gallon because I my typical diet, I have a lot of carbs as well. I had a lot of water throughout the day as well, and that resolved the issue. So cardio and water. As for my diet, carbs, and all of that, I didn't do a damn thing. I told myself, you watch it, I'll show you in the video, and I'll show you guys how I looked the following day after the whole debauchery. And yeah, I, I told myself, I'm gonna have faith, I'm gonna trust the process, I'm going to come through tomorrow and I'm going to look good and I'm going to stick to my peak week plan, right? So that's a common issue that I, that I, that's a common way how I handle water retention, guys. If I have water retention, I'll just do some light, easy, easy to moderate cardio and this definitely helps. I notice a significant difference, especially this last competition. I did a dehydration. I dehydrated for this past competition and I peaked pretty well, pretty decent. It couldn't have gone as perfect as I pulled it off. However, the following days, my body was all screwed up just because my fluid levels were all all crazy right so the body was compensating and i went back to being bloated and having edema everywhere especially my feet my feet looked like i was a pregnant woman and the cardio fixed everything guys it, it's as simple as that for for me give it a try guys this is not medical advice right i'm not a doctor I am not a doctor. I am a pro natural bodybuilder. This is what I noticed helped me. Uh, they say do the den, the lion root, and do all this crazy stuff. I say just work up a sweat, and then after you work up a sweat, drink plenty of water. And also, don't go crazy with your sodium, obviously. If you screwed up having five, 6,000 milligrams like I did one day, the following day, cut back a little bit on the sodium. I think I cut back to like 1,200 milligrams, which is not too bad, uh, better than nothing. Typically, I have about 2,000 milligrams of sodium. All right. On to how my peak week looked and how I was... Uh, Here's some footage for you guys. Here's some footage for you guys of how my physique looked for peak week. And stay tuned for, I think next video, I'm gonna drop a show day vlog. Also, this badass shirt, this Hercules shirt, I made my brand, Villainy. I'll be dropping this shirt September 1st. This will be exclusive. This will be limited. I'm going to drop it only for one week. And then I'm taking it off the site and never dropping it again. Really nice quality. It's thick. I, I just washed it. I didn't even iron it. It's thick. It didn't shrink. I love this shirt. I love this shirt a lot. It's my favorite shirt. All right, guys. Uh, check out the some vlog footage. All right, guys, so a little dilemma. 
the issue was I was at work and I was caught up. I was busy working the floor and I would go into the office and I was just snacking on a shit ton of pickles. And before you know it, almost the whole jar is gone. So, but we'll see. We're going to bounce back. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to carb load a little bit and reassess hourly, maybe hourly, reassess how I look. And then hopefully tomorrow everything flushes. I look full. I look dry. Uh, what is going on? Yo, <laughs> this... I haven't done my house work chores in so fucking long. It's been on the back burner for this show. This room, what is going on with this room? Look at this. I got my luggage here. Uh, MMA gloves when I was fucking shit up. A uh, chest rig. That bag it has just a bunch of gun range stuff. What is this? 2,000 rounds of ammo. AK ammo back there. Fucking massage roller. More ammo. Whoa. Oh, I was wondering where these were. This. This big ass sword. I won when I got my pro card. Look how fucking big this sword is, bro. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so short. It's hilarious. Uh, a guitar that I haven't touched in years. Look how much fucking grime and dust is on it. I got that for my graduation. Um, yeah. This house is horrendous. Well... This does make for some crazy weird content. So even though I'm fucked up with my sodium water intake, whatever the fuck, we're gonna bounce back. We're gonna learn from this. I'm cutting a lot of sodium today. Maybe only a thousand milligrams of sodium. Usually I have about 2,500, 2,000. And yeah, the cardio and the caffeine, like I said, should help. Or carb load or we're for sure gonna have some more carbs right now it's just no telling how much we're gonna assess that right now on our physique how loaded we look but this is by far the biggest and most shredded that i've ever been we fucking dialed this peak week bro yeah so yeah a little physique check i'm gonna show you guys what i look like right now and the game plan. Uh, but fuck. I'm probably weighing around the 130s right now. Maybe 138 pounds. Uh, yeah. Sheesh. So keep in mind this is a. Uh, This is no pump. This is no pump right now. I thought I was gonna spill over. How am I looking? 